So in the last video, we have created a method which is for each in which we are passing a method reference instead of using a lambda expression. So if I run this code now, since we have not done it in the last video, so we'll see the output is one to six, right? So it is, it's working. But hold on, is println is the only method you can use here? No, we can use any method. So let's say, let's switch back to lambda expression here. So what we were doing is we are saying i colon, it is system, System dot out dot println and you have to print the value of i. So this is what we were doing the, in the la, uh, the, in the earlier tutorials. Now let's say I don't want to use uh, I don't want to use here print uh, this print ln. What I need is I want to print all the values into uh, will multiply all the values by two and print it. So what we can simply do is we can create one more method which is static method public void uh, static uh, sorry public static void let's say double the value also we'll say double it so we have a method which is double it it will take a parameter int i and what it will return is so we'll say return is int it will return i into two now so we are using a method which is double it here and i want to call a method which is double it so what we can simply do is we can simply remove this thing and we can call double it and we can pass the value of i and if i run this code now uh -oh. yeah so it is double it let's print it now so let's also print the value i into two so we were forgot to print here and we'll say it is void so instead of going for int let's go for void and let's run this you can see the output all is double so from one to two two to four three to six so we're getting all the double values. Then we will say, is it the only way to print it? Can we use a method reference here? Yes, we can. So what we can simply do is, instead of fetching the value i and print it, we can simply say, I want to double it. Take all the values and call double it. But since this double it method belongs to a class Java 8 demo, we have to give a double colon so that we can say double it belongs to Java 8 demo class. And now if I run this, we can see the same output. So this is how we should be using method reference.